thanks. Well, I hope that the investors aren't so relaxed that I put them to sleep. Thanks, Jan. It's great to be back at EcoSummit. Um, I'm Mitch. I'm the CEO of Electrikea, and today I have three questions for us. How much energy can you afford to lose? What are we doing to lower the world's carbon footprint? And what if methane becomes the perpetual renewable fuel? These are three questions that Electrikea is dealing with, and we think we have a technology solution that addresses all three of them. How much energy can you afford to lose? I think everyone appreciates now that the renewable energy that we get, we get when it will, not when we want. And that leaves us with a problem of use it or lose it. And the graphic that you see um, behind me now is, shows the, the energy that was curtailed in California since, I think, 2015. In 2017 alone, there were 400, um, uh, what, 400 gigawatt hours of power that was curtailed in California. That doesn't count underpriced power. It doesn't count negatively priced power, just the power that was curtailed. In Denmark, that number in 2017 was uh, roughly 100 gigawatt hours. Our technology allows you to take that renewable energy and store 65% of it in the gas grid. The other 30 or 30% 30 is available as reusable heat, that if you're associated with a wastewater treatment facility or with an anaerobic digester, you can use that heat on site. What are we doing to lower the world's carbon footprint? Electric chaos technology, which is based on a a clever microbe in archaea, looks like a bacterium. It's the green stuff that looks like the kiwi smoothie that's in that glass reactor that you see in the middle of the screen. Those are single-celled microorganisms that take carbon dioxide and they convert virtually every one of those carbon, carbon dioxide molecules into a molecule of methane if you supply it with enough energy, in this case, in the form of hydrogen. So we're able to take carbon dioxide and make renewable methane with that energy. What does that mean for us in terms of the overall system? Right now at the bottom of the screen you can see we have a, an operating one megawatt grid scale reactor that we have just outside of Copenhagen called the BioCat reactor, which converts 50 normal cubic meters an hour of carbon dioxide into methane with renewable energy from the grid in Denmark. If you have a 50 megawatt system, which is a system that we have designed but we haven't executed yet, that single system could basically meet California's needs for taking the curtailed energy. Roughly 400 gigawatt hours per year you could convert with that system into renewable natural gas. So a 10 megawatt system roughly is what you would need in order to exercise the same opportunity in Denmark. What if methane becomes the perpetual renewable fuel. We already have a relatively low cost and extensive storage system available for methane. We don't need a new, to build a new battery. The only infrastructure that we need is the conversion system, which is to be able to turn power into gas. So the power to gas technology using a biological catalyst, in our case, can affect this change. If you look at the difference between batteries as a storage medium and the natural gas grid, they're massively different. Batteries are useful for relatively short periods of time in storage and relatively small amounts of energy, but you can store hundreds of gigawatt hours, even terawatt hours on the, on the gas grid. You can store it for long periods of time. You have limitless cycles. You can store it over months if you need, and you can redistribute it in a pre-existing gas grid. Whereas with batteries, you're stuck to a single site. The total addressable markets we think that are available for these three um, factors, for the renewable fuel factor, for the carbon conversion factor, and for the energy storage factor, by 2030 will be roughly 200 million euro. Or 200 billion euro. The vision for Electrikea is to be able to meet that market need by using our um, Arkea our biological catalyst to be able to store energy in the form of renewable methane. So the time is now, this is the place, and we hope you'll join us to reduce the world's carbon footprint and store all of that great renewable energy in a form that we can already use. Thanks very much. Happy to be here again.
Are you raising money? We are. How we've, much? We've, we've raised, um, in, including uh, non-diluting capital from grants and, and from equity, we've raised a little over uh, 20 million right now, and we're looking to raise another 8 million. 8 million, okay. All you relaxed investors. <laughs> you stay here because we like you so much, and I think this is your seat you in the middle. Yeah. All right.